Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Cassidy. I'm with Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. I want to show you guys the 2022 Jayco Eagle 321 RSTS fifth wheel. So this is a very similar model to the 317 RLOK. Just got a few little differences here that we're going to go through today. Let's start checking this thing out. We're going to start at the back here. Even though this does not have an outdoor kitchen like the 317 RLOK, we'll show you what you gain inside in just a few. But for those of you who still like to do your cooking outside, we do have a capital griddle uh, cooking surface here. It does have an LP quick connect uh, that goes to the bottom of the trailer. So big old cooking surface here, which we love. So you can probably cook for the whole family and, and then some. The thing I really enjoy about having an exterior grill, I think having it outside of the unit is a key uh, for sure. You're not having the inside of the unit smell like whatever you're cooking, bacon, eggs, whatever it is. But the other facet is if it's literally outside the unit and maybe not in an outdoor kitchen, you're not kind of gaining the smells that accumulate in time in that outdoor kitchen. You don't have to let that cool down before pushing it back in like some grills do. This is out, open, it'll cool down quicker, be ready to get packed up if that's what you're looking to do. So coming down the side, we have two power LED lit awnings on this unit. Um, the main awning is 17 feet long, um, so plenty of uh, shaded camping. Uh, campsite space, so which is nice. So both of these awning hardwares are adjustable pitch hardware as well. So if you're wanting to maybe adjust for for additional shade, maybe uh, maybe rain runoff, we don't see a whole lot of that here in Wyoming, but it happens sometimes, you can adjust that. This is also set up with the Lippert uh, slide topper uh, awnings on it so if you do want to put slide awnings on it it is prepped and ready to go for them. Let's uh, let's duck down here and take a look at our 16 inch uh, wheels with Goodyear endurance tires on them and these are set ready to go with tire pressure monitoring systems on these and you can monitor that from your phone on the J command app you can monitor that inside on the on the BM Pro um, nice way to keep keep tabs on that nice hot days in the summer will definitely increase those temperatures and you can uh, keep an eye on that if you can have a failure so we have our more ride solid steps I'll show you guys this so years ago that these were not strutted and they were really kind of a handful to lift nowadays super light super easy it may look like I'm just super strong. I wish that was the case. It's not. So, just push that up into place, up inside, shut your door, and you're off and going. Get to where you're going, pull it out. You adjust the leg height individually here, depending on what the ground level is below. Love the solid steps, nice, solid, and then it's one assist handle right onto the next one. So it's going to instill a lot of confidence if you're trying to get up in the unit and maybe are a little unstable possibly on your feet. Down below we have LED lights, exterior speakers, and there it is motion sensing uh, lights in here, which is awesome. So you can take a look at this massive pass-through storage in here. Um, and I definitely enjoy when they do the little drop-ins here. Um, I usually end up putting dog food and stuff in this area and uh, kind of keeps it away from all of your normal storage stuff, but you could put a ton of stuff in here too. We have our little bracket that holds the uh, J port for your capital grill. And then you can just kind of look at the Jayco construction in here. 
We have our aluminum superstructure, our thermal barrier below here, uh, color-coded water lines. Uh, Jayco just does a nice, nice clean build on here. Of course, in today's modern world, you know there's USBs almost everywhere. So we've got USBs, 110 plug, cable TV, antenna outlet there. Coming on up, you can see those are magnetic door catches and slam latch door. A uh, little lubrication on those uh, in time will help keep those uh, slamming nice. If not, they'll get a little dry and they will catch. Uh, with the dry camping package uh, that we take on all of our Eagles here at Smith RV, uh, that does give you two 40 pound propane tanks. Can't, uh, can't have too much propane, especially if you're going off the grid. Nice little 110 outlet here. It's pretty tight there, but a nice little 110 plug. And this trailer was optioned with the observation prep system. Uh, definitely enjoy that a lot. It instills a ton of confidence. If you're going down the interstate, maybe you're in heavy traffic, you can watch what's going on on the passenger side of the coach, the driver's side of the coach, and the back of it. So if someone's tailgating you, you, you know about it. So let's go up front here. So yeah, love, love the accent lighting on the front cap. We got our hitch hookup lights and nice cut caps. So it gives you a little more clearance to the cab of the truck. Kind of our Rhino box pin box on here, an additional hitch hookup light because lo and behold, you know you're going to get to the campsite at dark at some point in time if you're like most of us. On into the front pass through, so a ton of additional storage, but in the event that you don't want to get out uh, outside to start your generator up in your shorts in the in the morning, you want to fire that something up from the inside. We can install a 5,500 Onan propane generator in this spot and uh, have power on the go. Uh, battery rack over here, this will fit up to four batteries on this system, which, uh, which I think is awesome. So it gives you tons of battery power and they've got plenty of solar on the roof with the Overlander 2 solar package. A little bit on the uh, Lippert 3.0 ground control leveling system. You know, they have gone in the last few years to these bigger pads on the bottom. That just kind of spreads the weight a little bit more and gives you a little more stable support uh, in the coach, which is nice. And, you know, nothing real earth shattering here, but it's still noteworthy. Love the little snap pins on there. So it's not like years ago where you're literally pulling the pin out, moving the leg up and down, putting the pin back in. So just a few more, few more conveniences to enhance your calf camping experience. I watched the slide. I'm sure we've all hit our head on slides over the years. All right, over to the utility side of the coach. So a few things up in here. We have our battery disconnect switch over here, and then some manual controls for the Lippert uh, auto leveling. And so on this system, um, you can run your jacks manually. You can auto level these. And there's also an amazing feature called a hitch height. So it will remember where it left off when it unhooked from your pickup. You hit the hitch height button on this and it's gonna take you right back to where you're going or to where it was when it unhitched, saving you time. Really with these auto leveling systems, it really, it really takes the time of probably about half out of leveling up this unit. If you're going back to days of yesteryear with the blocks and everything in there um, and you're leveling and oh shoot you weren't quite you know close enough on uh, on the level and then you're pulling back off adding another block this is going to cut that in half with the auto leveling system something on that too though that we recommend just as we have a block of wood under this jack in the shop we do that mainly just to protect the concrete but if you were going to actually auto level this trailer at the campsite, we do recommend putting blocks or like the red buckets are popular these days, links levelers, something like that under, under the pads of each leveling leg. 
if you don't overextend those legs, it's going to help the system perform a lot better um, for sure and won't get out of stroke and confuse itself. All right, moving over into the outside convenience center. So starting up top, we have our, our quick connect hose. Wish we had water to get the camera guy. We don't, but that's all right. Maybe later. So and then we have a quick, quick connect port for a portable solar panel. Um, odds are you'd probably just add to what's on the roof of this thing. Um, having the Overlander 2 solar package, it's, it's pretty well set up. So we've got a water heater bypass. Uh, it's awesome. You can turn the pump on from out here as well as inside the coach, obviously. Black tank flush, a city water connection, fresh water fill. And then all enclosed in here, you have your black tank color coded and then two grays. Come up through with all your connections in the bottom. Uh, pretty standard six gallon suburban water heater. Nothing too earth shattering there, but that thing's been around for a long time. Very, very, very tried and true. And you will uh, get a little uh, quicker recovery if you turn the gas and the electric on at the same time while using, say, the shower or whatever. It will recover immensely faster. All right. Come on down here, cameraman. I want to show you guys. So new for 2022, they did put a sewer hose caddy uh, back on these units. Um, they kind of had a little bit of a hiatus after they stopped putting the bumpers on these. Uh, but we do have a sewer hose holder uh, right up next to the outdoor convenience center. All right, let's go back to the coach at the back and take a look. So let's we'll start at the top, part of that observation system at the top, we do get our camera up there and you see our little lights up top there. Um, so those are obviously marker lights, clearance lights, but those are uh, part of the, the J-Smart lighting system on this unit. So basically that's all tied in, uh, the lights on each side of the trailer, the back of the trailer. When you turn a turn signal on, say if you're going to go left, all the marker lights on the left-hand side of the trailer and the back here will turn on, not just your turn signal on the back of the trailer. Really raising awareness, awareness to where you're going. So that's, that's pretty great. Down to our towing package. You know, a lot of companies are kind of afraid to actually call that out as a towing package because they don't want the liability of what may happen. Jayco is very confident in their in their products and uh, their rear receiver hitch capacity, so they literally throw it out there. This is for towing. It will tow up to 3,000 pounds, 300 pounds of tongue weight on this unit. So they even put the wiring on there. Where some manufacturers will just do the rear receiver hitch and no wiring, this has got it all right from the go. Let's go up top and check out the roof of this thing. All right, guys, we're up on the roof at the 321 RSTS, uh, up on uh, the roof, trying to raise the roof, not doing that great a job, but I wish you guys could see how strong the roof is. So Jayco does the Magnum Thrust roof system, uh, much more blocking, uh, bigger plates in there holding those together, and that actual decking of this is literally screwed to the roof trusses. A lot of manufacturers are going to use staples in place of screws just because it's quicker and cheaper. Um, if you're out looking at RVs, uh, definitely don't be afraid to get up on the roof of that thing and walk it and, and just see what you feel. It's a pretty big difference uh, brand to brand. So moving on, we have dual 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioners. That is run through the Whisper Quiet system in there. So you're not gonna hear the roar of the lion, you're just gonna get cool. Pretty standard, you know, in today's world, Weingard Air 360 digital TV antenna, and then our Overlander 2 solar package. Uh, this thing is set up with 400 watt go power sol solar panels. Uh, we can actually do a little bit more solar onto this through the factory 30 amp controller. 
And that does also feed an 1800 watt built-in inverter. And I'll show you where those outlets um, are live inside the unit. You can see our bathroom max air vent cover. And long step this. So our factory installed max air vent cover that is a, whoa, over the bathroom. Um, so definitely will help you be able to vent that thing out while it's raining, while it's snowing whatever odds are getting water in there are pretty slender the rain would have to be doing one of those uh, wyoming sideways things you know um, to get up in there skylight to the shower but uh enough about this let's go inside and take a look at the inside of the coach all right guys let's check out the inside of this thing so we do have this option with the booth dinette. We are big booth dinette fans. Not saying anything against those who like a freestanding dinette. We just think that this is kind of like your original camping experience um, and a little more comfortable than a freestanding dinette. You know, of course, that's personal preference. But you also gain the sleeping spot. And I think, you know, it varies region by region. Some regions probably do better with the freestanding dinette. Here in central Wyoming, we tend to do better with the booths. But you gain that extra sleeping spot. But I think Jayco does a nice job with their dinettes and just with their ease of operation of putting this thing up and down. You're gonna see some more of that solid wood in these. No chip board. So you can see our, our tub that slides out from the bottom for additional storage. Okay, so now that that is out, we lift up. It is shredded. Take the big paw at the back. Go ahead and give that little push down into place. Cushions up on here. up the Jayco paperwork. Those are real tight in there, which is nice. So, and voila, you have yourself an additional sleeping surface in just a few minutes. So that's a great feature. All right, so it's game time. Super Bowl's ways away, but time to watch some TV on your large insignia flat screen TV over here. You got a little uh, ambiance from the fireplace. You got 5,000 BTUs of heat coming out of this. You got your favorite beverage right here. I like to call this the snack drawer here, and this is pretty, pretty comfy. Uh, over on this side, uh, you have USB ports on that side, so that's pretty convenient for all the cell phone and iPad devices that we have today. All right, so in the back here, again, if you do need any more additional sleeping room, you do have a huge trifold sofa sleeper. So, and on each side, again, USB ports each side, 110 uh, outlets on each side of this. Just got a big old pull up motion here. Flip down those. Flip this down, and you got yourself a sleeping surface. And, you know, my feet do hang off on this a little bit, but I think all in all this this is actually bigger than most trifold sofas. So I think this will suit most people pretty, pretty well. You might want to set something over this to kind of create a more even surface, being it is a little stair-stepped as, as it goes down. Or really, you could almost sleep that way too. You got some options. Place. Blacked out roller shades on all of these. A uh, great way to completely cut out the light on these. You know, I think for years they've done the fabric shades and you could still see kind of like a silhouette, you know. So this is one surefire way to block all that out. 
So we have our huge insignia flat screen TV, JBL sound system, and our 34 inch Furion fireplace. Okay, and one other thing I just want to take note too is that Jayco has done an awesome job at taking the carpet out of the slide outs on these things. So for years they put carpet in the slides just because they weren't able to really make it a seamless uh, uh, operation of the slides um, and insulation factor but they have finally figured it out and it looks so good on this side being that is a flush floor slide you can barely even tell there's a difference between your flooring your main flooring and your slide out floor so that's a great feature and check out our pantry over here so automatic lighted pantry we have all adjustable shelves in there so you can really do a ton of different stuff with that never have enough room for everything so that's a great great feature got one two three four drawers and they're pretty deep so and again just you know if you're in these you feel the wood nice and sturdy drawers nice soft clothes and our solid surface countertops this has the Furion three burner cooktop uh, oven here. And it is bigger than the average oven. It's not the biggest of what you maybe see in a Jayco North Point or a Pinnacle, but definitely, uh, definitely big enough for uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Up to our residential size microwave up top. So over to our island kitchen, I love 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 the stainless steel drying rack so then you're not having to dry stuff maybe either in the sink itself or on the countertop We've got a chopping block a residential pull down faucet which is nice 50 50 stainless steel sink and something that you're not going to see in any units in fact it's uh it's Jayco exclusive is the freshwater drinking system. So let's take a look below here. It can give you a garbage can, which is nice. I don't know if you can see that well enough, but we do have a Jayco branded uh, water bottle that you can fill that up with any, any of your favorite water, whether it's Coligan or water from home whatever it may be, it can go in there so you're not drinking water from your holding tanks. So this does have a separate uh, pump for this to, to run that system. So it's kind of a game changer. You know, I think for years people have always brought tons of bottled water, etc. Now you may be bringing less of that and just plan on filling that big jug before you come. All right, let's take a look at uh, being in central Wyoming, we do love a good gas electric refrigerator. I do know 110 and 12 volt refrigerators have come a long ways through the years. However, we feel this just gives you a huge leg up in going off the grid, running it off propane, and keeping all of your items cool. Tons of space. That's on its way to being residential size. It's very, very awesome. Okay, moving on to the rest of the things in the island is what I like to call the power tower. So we have two 110 outlets and USB hookups on this. And maybe you don't want this hanging up. Maybe you don't want the kids messing with it. Push that little red button, pop that down into place and you're still nice clean countertop surface until you need to charge that iPhone. On over to our hutch area. Nice little counter space, whether you want to use that for a desk, just maybe a catch-all, maybe additional food prep area. It's probably its best, what well, works best. But you got, again, a ton of storage in here. You got shelves up top that are deep. And this, it's kind of like a convertible closet, if you will. It's kind of like pantry, closet, coat closet, all in one. So this is pretty uh, pretty trippy. So we can take this guy that would be like a pantry shelf, magnets up into place, 
you got your little uh, octopus hooks up top here to hang uh, some coats. So that's pretty slick. All right, let's go on on top here. Jayco always does a nice job putting their clocks in these units. You got their Middlebury, Indiana, you know, on here. That's uh, that's where they're uh, home based at in Indiana. So on over to our BM Pro. So we can run everything manually if we want to for lights, or we can run everything digitally from climate to lighting to your motors, tanks. You can check out the energy, see what's going on uh, for the solar power from the from the roof. And in the event you do a 5,500 own-in generator on board, you can set up an auto start on this. So if you want to program that thing to start at a certain point in time, you can do so through this system or just simply manually start it, manually stop it from, from this system. So again, all of this stuff can be run from your phone or you can run it from here as well. All right, let's go up top here. Um, I'm gonna take quick notice of this little hand railing. That may not seem like much uh, of a big deal. However, you know, maybe if you're a little unstable on your feet, maybe you've had a had a cocktail or something, um, you're gonna want that uh, extra grip. Okay, so up into our bathroom. So new for 2022, they did switch up the bathroom and go indigo blue. So a lot of people said, man, that's gotta be some kind of mistake. But we think it uh, has jived really nice. Nice backlit uh, lighting there. Pretty simple uh, two-valve faucet setup. Nothing real crazy there. But you can individually turn on your accent lighting back in the shower. The back lighting on the medicine cabinet or the main lights. So that's pretty cool. Uh, up top, we have our uh, vent fan here, and again, that does have that max air vent cover on the roof of this thing as well. So you're not going to have to worry about getting rain, water, snow, whatever in from that while, while running. So this kind of reminds me of my favorite Jim Carrey movie. We got our sliding door. Oh! 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 <laughs> so... That's, uh, I, I really enjoy that. If you guys uh, know the movie I'm referencing, uh, shout it out in the comments. I love it. Uh, so we have our uh, toilet paper holder over here. We have our porcelain commode. Much easier to clean than plastic. Uh, won't uh, gain smells in time. And uh, just a nicer way to go. And that is a foot flush as well. And you won't be cold in here. We do have a vent. Uh, for the heat as well. Definitely a nice linen closet, so, and that's rather deep as well, so um, odds of you filling that up are pretty slender. So I do got to duck a little bit going in here, but I do have to duck a lot going into different places, so that's not out of the ordinary for me. We do have a nice trifold glass shower door. Faucet up top here. And if I get tired, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a seat over here. All right, let's go up on into the master bed. So we do have our switches to turn on our inverter over here. So we do have some live 110 outlets in this, in this bedroom from the 1800 watt inverter, part of that Overlander 2 solar package. So we'll show you those outlets in a sec. I want to show you the massive storage beneath there. Nice solid wood. You know, Jayco does a decent job with the mattress. I think most people are going to find that this is pretty comfortable. You know, some of you still may want to go out and get yourself something uh, uh, a little better, but this is a pretty decent mattress. It's not like a board like most of them. And very, very strong struts going down. So on, on those outlets that are live, so on each side of the bed, we have 110 outlets. Those do have little stickers on them indicating that those are our live outlets to the inverter. So if you have a CPAP machine or require something like that to, to get you through the night of sleep, 
this thing is it's prepped and ready to go for that so we have our whisper quiet ac system up in here as well as well as the back of the unit and the thing i kind of enjoy on that is not a lot of manufacturers will give you the option you can direct the air you can shut off the air you can uh, really help control where that's going so i think it's pretty pretty helpful my stressor here you know i think is obviously super good for your weekends out and about or if you want to do maybe a little part-timing on the road i think you're going to find that this thing has enough closed storage to to satisfy what you're looking to do so this is obviously a 110 tv but again we have a little sticker on our 110 outlet here indicating that this is a live outlet off the inverter so i've got a great amount of storage in here um, you know, in the event you do want to do a washer dryer uh, system in this, it's prepped and ready to go with hot and cold water and power. You know, those systems can be pretty expensive and they don't wash a lot of clothes at one time. But there again, you're not going with your quarters to the laundromat either. So it's kind of a, you know, hit and miss on uh, what you may want to do there. But it is prepped and ready though, which is great up into front wardrobe we have nice built-in shelves i always think about uh lining my shoes there which i think would be nice or or other things so and then we're going to pull this this way and they have a few different shelves over there to add a, a little additional storage but but if you guys enjoyed this video, again, I'm Cassidy with Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Please like, uh, subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to see what else is in our inventory, if this isn't the floor plan for you, you can visit smithrv.com, see everything we have uh, to offer. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.